Hi, in this video, I'm going to be using AI to create a recipe, and I'm going to see if I can make an AI recipe generator. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to close a copy, and you want to log into your dashboard. All right, once you log into your dashboard, create a new project, name it. I'm going to name mine AI Recipe Generator. And then I'm um, going to leave the description blank. Go ahead and save it. I'm going to open it, create a new document, and give it the same name. Okay. Now let's begin. So the very first thing you want to do, you want to scroll to the left-hand side, and you want to go into Frameworks. From there, you want to go ahead and click on right, step by step. All right, so what that's going to look like, you go to libraries, scroll all the way down. It's all the way towards the, the very bottom. All right, so you have restaurants, product reviews, or sarcastic answers, answer listicles, and it'll be. It'll be towards the uh, very bottom right here. Okay, so you click on step by step. I'm going to go ahead and keep something simple, like how to cook mashed potatoes. And see if you can find instructions for me to do this step by step. Therefore, giving me a AI recipe. So you can go ahead and set the creativity to low or to high. I want to set it to in between, maybe on the 55 scale. Click right for me and wait for it to give me the results. Okay, it's done. And from here, you have several options. You can scroll down and you can see the first option. It says boil the potato. Step one, use, you need three medium sized potatoes. Step two, cut the potatoes into slices. Step three, put the sliced potatoes into a pot with some cold water. Step four, put the pot on the stove and wait until the water boils. Then turn the heat down to simmer. After the potato have simmered for 15 minutes, turn the heat off and so on and so forth. Then you have 10 steps. Some have cheese and milk. And then this one looks good. Well, boil the potato in the water with salt until they are soft, approximately one third of the total volume of the potatoes. I, I kind of like the first one. And I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. And that's pretty interesting. I, I kind of like it. I just want to see how unique this is. It, it, it sounds like a very clear cut way to make uh, mashed potatoes. But let's go check to see how unique and yeah, how unique it is from other recipes. So let me go ahead and check that out. Let me go into Grammarly, my favorite tool. Nope. Right here. Go to a new document. And just for fun, I, I want to test to see the, to see how well the simple recipe reads. Does it have any grammatical errors according to Grammarly AI? And uh, how unique is it? So overall, I got a 9-1 score. It has six alerts. It's very clear, very engaging, and just right. Now the final test. How unique is it? Let's see. It's, it's basically saying that this is only 6% plagiarized. I guess 94% unique. That, that's very good. All right, so I guess the conclusion of this small little sample, just because I, I couldn't really test out the other AIs, I'm currently, the, the only one I, I was able to use this for was Closer's Copy. But I'm currently in the process as well as using Writer. All right, I, put, I used uh, the feature to add this feature into Writer AI. And let me show you what that looks like right here. But it's currently pending. So I, I can't test it out yet. But when... I have approval for my recipe generator. I will go ahead and see how Rider AI uh, generates cooking recipes. From what I can tell you, basic 
when it comes to simple, basic uh, meals, it's not too bad. It, it's actually pretty good. It comes off as easy to read. It comes off as well-read and unique. That's the surprising thing because I, I was questioning how unique this recipe was. How many ways can you cook mashed potatoes? I guess there's a lot. Those of you who are interested in using AI as a, in a different angle, instead of writing content or maybe doing images, maybe you want to do your recipe and, and create a recipe channel, then this is something you might want to explore. I'll leave, I'm using Close the Copy, so I'll leave a link in the description below. But when I review Rider, I will let you know in the next video. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.